welcome to Alley Picked. If you want to learn how you can make one of these adjustable gooseneck mounts for your GoPro camera from junk, stay tuned. So nothing gets me more excited than making cool stuff from junk. So today, we're going to show you how you can make this cool stand out of an old lamp. In fact, I went to Walmart today and for six bucks I picked up this clip-on lamp. So we're going to make a freestanding and a clip-on. Stay tuned. You're only going to need a few tools for this project. This is a quarter 20 machine screw, standard for mounting most cameras. We don't need the electrical cord, the bulb, or the bulb housing. The gooseneck is connected to the bulb housing with a threaded nut, which can be loosened using a needle nose pliers. Once you cut off these wires, you'll notice the ends of the wires. We're going to shorten them by removing the base cover and pulling them down a couple of inches and snipping it off. On the quarter 20 screw, we're going to put two nuts with a lock washer in the middle. We're going to make them extremely tight using a couple of wrenches. Since the machine screw diameter is smaller than the end of the opening, we're going to secure it in place using hot glue. You can probably come up with a better method, but this one worked for me. As I started to apply the glue, it began to cool off before I had a chance to fully seat the screw no problem. Simply heat it up using a lighter or torch if you have one. After it cools off, I use this cutoff wheel on a Dremel tool. I'm leaving a quarter inch of the threads exposed for mounting the camera. Now the end of the screw might be a little bit sharp, so using your cutoff wheel, grind it down, making it smooth on the edges. Now we can mount our camera. And there we have it, a great camera base capable of filming at almost any angle. For the clip-on lamp, the process is almost the same. These newer lamps use tiny LED bulbs, but under the covers it's basically the same. It uses the same type of threaded nut to hold on the plastic housing. At this point, you're going to recognize the same procedure. We're going to cut off the wires at the top and pull them through at the bottom. Use your glue gun and the cutoff wheel to finish it up just like the first one. So that took me less than an hour to build two. Both the clip-on and the freestanding. The clamp on the Walmart model, it works, but it's not extremely sturdy. So I'm going to make another one using this spring clamp made by the Irwin company. For this, we simply drill a hole in the clamp. The underside of the clamp has this plastic support which is going to need to be chiseled off in order to secure the nut. Other than that, the process is the same. You can clamp it to your desk, but if you use the stronger clamp, it gives you more versatility. You can mount it on a fence, on a porch, or in a tree. How can that be? The cool thing about the GoPro is that if you do mount it upside down, it automatically flips the video right side up. Here I have it clamped to the roof rack on my car. Now you can see what it looks like when I go alley picking. I don't know why you would want to, but you can mount it to a ceiling fan. And in case you're curious, here's what that would look like. So in just about no time at all, I made three incredibly cool gooseneck phone and, and camera mounts. In fact, this one on the base is sturdy enough to support this full-size Canon camera. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you'll subscribe to Alley Pick. Until the next video, I hope you'll keep on picking. Thanks for watching.